Okay, here I'm going to take a brief look behind the numbers of a soil test. So we get these numbers back printed out in a report after we send it to our soil. What do those kind of numbers mean, and how does the lab go about getting some of those? So the objective of a soil test is to estimate the amount of plant available nutrients. Now keep in mind, this is different, and this is not the total amount of nutrients. As a result, soil test labs use an extraction fluid to simulate the plant's ability to remove nutrients from the soil. So the goal is we want to get the ones that the plant can easily access. If they're tied up and locked up, we don't um, assess those in the soil report. it would be a different test if you want the total amount of potassium in your soil, because uh, that would assess the amount that's locked up, as we would call it. We want the ones that are easy to get by the plant, and as a result, uh, extraction fluids are what's used to try to estimate what a plant can pull out of that particular soil sample. So this extraction fluid, well, there's different extraction fluids, and this can result in different esti estimate of soil nutrient supply. The appropriate soil test method for a given region are selected based on soil characteristics and climate. So just as for example, the extraction fluid is going to try to wring out the nutrients in that soil. Now, if we're in a soil here where we're a very sandy environment, maybe using a different extraction fluid than one uh, that's here with higher organic matter. So again, they're going to be based on the region. So typically, if you're testing uh, soil, you want to look at what a local lab is using for extraction fluid. However, there can be differences in extraction fluid. So there's two main extraction fluids used in New England. Uh, most commonly a weak acid, modified Morgan extract, and the strong Malik 3 extract. Only the University of New Hampshire, I think, uses the Malik 3. These are both the universal extraction procedures, meaning that they use different, they used to determine the amount of majority of the nutrients and many micronutrients at the same time. So even though they are different extraction fluids and uh, one's more aggressive, uh, they both can give you kind of the same uh, idea of nutrients. Then keeping in mind, if you're comparing a modified Morgan extract versus a Malik 3, some nutrients may differ, and that's just because of the extraction fluid that is used.